four o'clock, good afternoon, and welcome to LJ News. The BuzzFeed community has a lot of TV show opinions. When asked about what TV shows they once loved, then hated in later seasons, BuzzFeed re readers didn't hold back, like, at all. Now, these are not my opinions, nor have I seen every show mentioned, so I can't really speak for all the spicy takes listed, but I can say, wow. I know some of these are definitely controversial. Have a look for yourself. Coming in at number one, we've got The Goldbergs by Apathy Advanced. I really thought it was cute for the first couple of seasons, but then the stuff with the overbearing mum just got ridiculous and annoying. I mean, we get it. She's a smother. What else you got? Coming in at number two, Carla H from Facebook said, I fell in love with Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist and cried in the pilot episode. I re-watched season one like four times before season two even came out. But the show didn't know what to do after Zoe's dad died, and the love triangle was irritating to watch. I was not surprised it got cancelled. I just don't understand how a show that had such a perfect first season could fall off so quickly. Coming in at number 3, we've got the US version of The Good Doctor by Taco Cantina. The whole Sean and Lee baby thing really ruined it for me. I felt like Lee totally took advantage of Sean. It seemed forced, like they needed something else to write about. Coming in at number 2, we've got Shameless by Sin67501. The first two seasons were okay. After that, it seemed like it was the same thing over and over. Debbie's character seemed to become an entirely different person, and one that I couldn't stand. Lip had a chance to improve his life, but slipped back into old habits. I quit watching after Jody was introduced. Coming in at number 5, we've got Search Party by Jang Webb. I really had fun with this show and this cast, but then the last season was absolutely ridiculous. People were trying to say what it was groundbreaking, but it was just flat out stupid and over the top ridiculous. It could have ended perfectly with the season before. Coming in at number 6, we've got Gilmore Girls by Alana N at Facebook. Once Rory goes to Yale, her storyline is unwatchable for me, and once Luke has a daughter, the Luke and Lorelai scenes become unwatchable. There are just too many characters making terrible decisions. Coming in at number 7, we've got Sleepy Hollow by Evan B at Facebook. The first two seasons were fun and cool. I don't know what changed behind the scenes after that because season 3 was dreadful. There was a season 4 where they obviously tried to drum up a new audience by doing a cast shakeup and changing the location, but it was too late by then. Coming in at number 8, we've got The League by Curtis T at Facebook. The first four seasons were great. Then it started going downhill partway through Season 5. Season 6 was my best, and I heard so many bad things about Season 7 that I still haven't watched it, because I don't want to wreck the memory of the first four and a half seasons. Too Much Rafi, I think, was part of the downfall. Coming in at number 9, AM301394WNE said, Oh, I can't stand the last season of Fringe! which is super disappointing because it's overall one of my favorite shows. Anytime I rewatch it, I stop at the finale of season four right before it leads to five. I skip the futurist episode of season four too. As much as I dislike loose strings, I think I would have preferred never knowing just who or what the observers were and that whole garbage season with them as the villains. Coming in at number 10, Julie A at Facebook said, Scream Queens needs to be on this list. The first season was ahead of its time, if a little rough at the end, as most Ryan Murphy projects are, but the second season was awful from the beginning. Coming in at number 11, Kermit Kid said, Arrow should have ended after season 3. It was the perfect ending. He gets the girl, retires, and passes the mantle to his sister. They should have just done a spin-off about her. The way they bring Oliver back for Season 4 was very contrived, and they also kept using the events of The Flash to bring back dead characters from the other universes. Coming in at number 12, we've got New Girl by Morgan LeSlay. 
so much wasted potential. They did seven episodes in the final, final season for what? Nothing! We knew Jess and Nick were going to get married or at least engaged, and the whole ring in the mail plot was so stupid. And Cece not knowing how to mother her own kid while, when Schmidt wanted to go back to work? They made her look so stupid after all her character's growth in just one episode. I would have loved to see not only a full season, but at least a proposal, marriage, and all that in four episodes, and the rest of them adjusting to family life and still being great friends. But no, bumbling stupidity and shitty writing at its finest. Coming in at number 13, we've got Two and a Half Men by Bill, Bill Jenner. Alan became a despicable, horrible person who should, who, who should be in prison. We were initially told by the series that Charlie was the bad one, but in later seasons, Alan became a much worse person than Charlie. Coming in at number 14, we've got Grey's Anatomy by the same person who watched Two and a Half Men. Please, let the show die already and don't revive it! No pun intended. It became horrible, and I can't even watch it because all the scenes with drama, screaming, hysteria, and crying honestly really annoy me. How many people can watch someone who cries, yells, gets hysterical, or over-the-top angry over literally anything? And so many deaths! This hospital is cursed! Coming in at number 15, Marasek 4212BCL9F said, I loved Teen Wolf so much when it first came out. Styles was one of the best, creepiest villain arcs they ever did, but the show started to go downhill pretty fast after that season. Derek left, Allison was gone, we completely abandoned Kira in the desert, and I just could not bring myself to care about the new pack and all their issues. The story started out great, and the characters brought a lot of warmth and heart to the plot, but the last two seasons was such a bore. Coming in at number 16, Adriana CC said that seasons 4 and 5 of Arrested Development upset me deeply. I still have no idea why they inflicted them upon us. Coming in at number 17, Russell said that Heroes built the entire first season around, saved the cheerleader, saved the world, and then they saved the cheerleader and it meant nothing. That's when it became clear that the writers and the showrunner had no idea where they were going and started just wandering around throwing out trial balloons. Coming in at number 18, have a see at Facebook set, the ending of Killing Eve was rushed and disappointing for a show that had so much potential. The only good thing to come out of the series finale was that kiss between Eve and Villanelle. Jody Corner and Sandra O oh had one of the best on-screen chemistries, in my opinion. And finally, coming in at number 19, Once Upon a Time by Shannon S. at Facebook. Biggest disappointment for me. I loved that show and was hooked for the first three seasons. It was so good then. I didn't hate season four with Frozen, but that was when it started to go downhill because ju it just became a marathon of how many characters they could fit in. Season 5 with Camelot was okay, but by the middle, they started to lose the plot. Season 6 and 7 had a few good moments and revelations, but are basically unwatchable for me. Season 6 is a mess and makes no sense, and Season 7 was basically everything we had already seen. So, what's a TV show you loved at first, but couldn't stand by its later seasons?